Today we're on our way to Malula Bar in search of the perfect iced coffee. Let's see what we can find. Welcome to Malula Bar, the iced coffee capital of Queensland. Viv, what's in it? We did vodka. <laughs> That's not what a nice coffee is meant to have, in it? What's in it? Milk and ice cream. Ice cream? Cream. Why am I filming you? I'm a vodka. We're leaving the Lula Bar and I've got to say I'm very, very disappointed. The only iced coffee I could find was an iced coffee with ice cream and cream and syrups in it. That's not iced coffees and when they mix all that up, they're lukewarm anyway. How is that an iced coffee? So, we're off home and I'm making the real thing. Coffee starts with beans and for an iced coffee we want the really strong dark roast beans. We want the flavour to come through. If you use just the mild ones, it's not going to be the same. So make sure you've got some really good beans. The next step is we've got to grind them. So let's put some in the grinder, like so. And there you go. And there you go, we're grinding. Mmm, the smell of beautiful, fresh ground coffee. Nothing like it. Mm. First thing that we've got to do though is just extract the coffee as per normal. Now for each glass of iced coffee that you do, you want a double shot. If you do a single, again the flavours aren't going to be there. This you'll see is a single shot, that's a double shot. We're using the doubles. Now what we've got to do is we've got to pack the coffee. And it is a double shot, so two scoops per glass, like so. The better it's packed, the better it extracts. There you go. Put this together. We put that in the coffee machine. Each shot of coffee needs to be about 30 mils, so we're going to do two shots, which will actually fill that glass, which is perfect for two glasses of iced coffee. And what you'll see is those dark colours coming out, and as they lighten out, you know that the coffee has been expressed, can't do any more, and that's about it. So that's one shot, we need two of those. Perfect, that's our second shot. Uh, obviously, express your coffee first, put it on the side, that'll give it a chance to cool down as much as possible before we actually add the ice and everything else into it. Alright, now to make our coffee we need one of these, which is a Thermomix. If you don't have one, I'm sorry, I really can't help you. But for those of you who have got one, I'll show you how it's done. First thing we need to do is put one teaspoon of brown sugar in per glass of iced coffee. This is very important because the sugar is going to help us make the broth for the iced coffee. Two teaspoons, one. Okay, now the Thermomix is such a powerful machine that it will actually take that brown sugar and make it into icing sugar. So if you're going to use a blender, bad luck, you can't do it. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to crank it up to 10 because we're going to really do the job on the sugar. That's what you call icing sugar. If you're a sugar addict, you can actually breathe your sugar in that way. Look at that. Mm. Now that we've got our icing sugar, what we do is we take our express coffee, so there's four shots in here, and we just nicely pour it into the thermomix like so. Okay, the next thing that we need to do is to get our ice, of course. Because we've got four shots of coffee, I'm going to make two glasses of iced coffee. I use these nice large ones, because we are making iced coffee. We don't want extra calories in there with ice cream, junk, syrups. What we want is coffee and ice, and of course some milk. You want to make sure that you've got about that much ice in each glass. Uh, and the next step is that we've got to add some milk into this. Okay, that's about right. There's enough room in there to put our shots of coffee in there, so that's perfect. What we're going to do is we're going to drop this in the Thermomix bowl. And like so. So what you end up with something like that. But that's not our iced coffee yet. Check this out. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to smash all that ice up, blend everything in together, 
and actually make the froth as well. And what makes the froth is that mixing of that icing sugar with the milk. Check this out. seconds is a good amount of time to put it on the fastest speed there is and what we have in here now is something just amazing. Okay so let's start pouring this iced coffee, let's see what happens. Mm, look at that, nice and light, plenty of ice in there. Okay, now what we've got here is the ultimate iced coffee. No ice cream, no syrups, real expressed coffee, and also ice in it, making it about three, four degrees. This is really cold, beautiful, uh, and no junk in it. Okay, now that I've showed you how to make a proper iced coffee, not some ice cream syrupy thing, I've actually made some, and I've invited some coffee connoisseurs. These are specialists when it comes to understanding how coffee should taste. What we're going to do is we're going to give them my iced coffee, the Polish Master Chef coffee, and we're going to see what they have to say about this. Okay, well the coffee's made, so Susie, what do you think? I don't have words for it. All right, Rob, Rob, you're a coffee expert down there. What's the coffee like, mate? Iced coffee. Yes, I am a coffee expert, and um, in my expertise opinion, this is not coffee. <laughs> no, no, this is far beyond the average coffee. Is that right? You need to create a new name for this drink. Uh -huh. You said iced coffee, but it doesn't do it justice, I'm sorry. <laughs> Look in a French book, find something. Yeah? Coffee Thank de la creme. You. Coffee de la creme. Coffee de la creme. Ooh. Adam, is it cold enough? Yeah, it's about plus two. My tonsils are still there. <laughs> <laughs> I am lost for the words. It's just incredible. <laughs> What's the secret ingredient? I can't tell you. Is You've got no, to watch. No, to find out what the secret ingredient is, you're going to have to watch PNN. It's got the taste of like a Polish chicken soup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no ice cream, and it looks like a cappuccino. Look. So for those people who use those capsule things, those pods, sorry mate, can't. So what you're saying is without a thermo mix, don't even bother trying. That's it. Mm. Wasting your time. That's it. Reporting for PNN. This is Peter Pratt. Rex, we're going to hear you in the background. Shut up. <laughs> nah, man. You've got to get rid of him. Nah, Missy. get rid of him. Let me see. <laughs> nah, I can't. You're going to hear that <laughs> in the background. Get rid of him. Is it focusing? Yeah. See? See? <laughs>